focus a little bit on website analysis, specifically for visual rhetoric. I just typed in California Condor and found the first website that I could come to for organization. It's friendsofcondors.org. So we talk a little bit about rhetoric in terms of subjects. So we have what is it trying to say, the content, we have what is the image trying to persuade us or give us a visual argument of what are we what are we being asked to do? What is the information being displayed? How does the text and the images aid us in the interpretation of text? And I think it's more important now than it ever was because we are such a society of looking at really quick images from Facebook and Instagram and we look at Pinterest to find ideas and so I think the way organizations work now is that they really have to have this appeal that draws us in because let's face it we don't want to spend a lot of time reading a lot of text okay so let's take a look at this let's look at and start analyzing this website how do we like the font here why did the authors choose to use this kind of font what do you think I think it kind of has a whimsical feel to it. You know, condors aren't necessarily the most attractive birds. I mean, I'm looking at some of these pictures and they're kind of ugly. So we got to find a way to protect them. Everybody wants to protect cute, cuddly things, but a bird that kind of is a vulture and is bald? Yeah, all right. So we're, we're trying to think of ways that they can draw us in. And so the use of the word friends of the California condors and then wild and free, that text right there and the sort of whimsical font that it's using and the fact that it's red and bold and jumps out with you, that just kind of makes us go, all right, so let's see what they've got. Let's, I'm interested, okay? They have a little graphic image here. He's got his wings spread wide. Notice they're not showing a lot of his face. They don't want to emphasize how ugly this bird is. They want to kind of emphasize other features. And we have a little slideshow going on here, which really grabs our attention. Okay, they're showing them in different, different styles and different settings. I think I saw an image here of a, a baby. Yeah, there's a little, little baby one. Okay, and a close up of its face. Man, they're definitely interesting, huh? Here's one with an egg, kind of brings out that maternal instincts in me. A little cool shot of the inside wing color. Okay, this one's got a cool little hairdo going on. All right, let's look down and see what we got. What do we think about this font here? Any ideas? Looks kind of plain, huh? Kind of small too. I'm like, man, I'm getting old. I need big, big stuff. Giant picture. Look at the size of that picture compared to everything else. All right, a little bit of font, giant pictures. What are they trying to convey to us? I think they know, hey, you're not going to read very much, so I'm going to try and wow you. Today there are 450 California condors. Of those, 240 are flying free in California, Arizona, Utah, and Baja, California, Mexico. There are 210 in captive breeding programs. 38 have fledged in the wild. Interesting. Just a few different bits of information there. Okay. So let's go back and let's analyze some other sections here. There's activities. We have another sort of picture slideshow going on here. Oh, it's the same slideshow. Oh, they have a calendar. It's very useful, right? That helps interpret what's going on. I don't need to necessarily read all this information. I can look at their calendar and then I can find something interesting and go back. Good. Email. Nice active link right here. What else we got? Pictures of other people engage. Sort of a scenery shot. Notice again the size of the pictures. Oh, that's a cool one. Showing how, hey, look at this cute little girl. She's excited about condors. You should be excited about condors. Look at how giant that wingspan is. That's pretty impressive. Okay. All 
all these people are excited. You should be excited. Everything is trying to persuade you people. Think about that. Contact us. Join us. History. Click on the history. Maybe that. Another big giant picture. Okay, a little timeline. That's good. Ooh, a map. That's a good visual aid, huh? So do you see sort of my, or hear sort of my thought process as I'm going through this stuff? I want to make sure that the information I'm getting isn't trying to persuade me through emotion, but trying to give me facts and details that I can then make a decision about myself. Because all these organizations are looking for something. They're looking for you to donate money. They're looking for you to come help. They're looking for you to change sort of your habits. So you want to think about what am I investing in and why am I investing in it? And is it worth it? Okay. All right. Go do your assignment now.